Well, you got your fair weather friends and you got your all weather friends. Hey, I'm Blake, and this is your tailgate talk. So I'm here in the parking lot of Hattieville Baptist Church in Hattieville, Arkansas. And I'm filming here because I have in recent months, I guess, made a new friend. Uh, his name is Bob Birch, Dr. Bob Birch, I guess I should say. He's a pastor here at Hattieville. And uh, we met a while back uh, through a, a BMA meeting. Uh, but Brother Bob has become a friend uh, through some mutual acquaintances that, w acquaintances that we have, some friends who now go to church uh, here and uh, that I used to go to church with. And uh, I've just gotten to know uh, Brother Bob, and, and uh, he, through a, a kind of difficult season of my life, has just kind of um, checked in on me. And, and shown that, that he, he is the kind of friend that I want to have, a, a friend that will stick closer than a brother, a friend that is willing to um, stand in the gap for me when I need him. It's the kind of friends that we need, really. Not fair weather friends. Not the kind of friends that are going to be there when everything's going good and then run off when you need them the most. No, no all weather friends. And I've got, I've got other friends like that. God has, God has been, God's been good to me. I, there, there's a couple of brothers in my life, the Russell brothers, I call them, Dennis and Jeff Russell, that, man, I praise God for them and their family. They've just been good to me. I mean, they, they've been, they've been all-weather friends, both in this season and, and in other seasons of, of my life, and I'm thankful for them. I've, I've got friends like Brother Ben Leonard, who pastors Victory Baptist Church in Cabot. He's been a friend to me, a good friend for over a decade now, a, an all-weather friend. He sticks by me. I, I've got guys like Sonny Harvison. I've got guys like John Cronister, who's one of my best friends. I've got folks like the, the leadership at, at Life Word, Donnie Parrish, Luis Ortega, and others that they're just, they're just real, all-weather friends. Folks that you know are going are gonna to be there. Jesus talked about those kind of friends in John chapter 15 when he said that he's called us to love like he loved us. And then he went on to say, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for a friend, to be willing to sacrifice their own well-being for the sake of a friend. Let me ask you, do you have a friend like that? Someone who's willing to lay their neck on the line for you. Listen, I've got friends like that. I've got friends who are willing to be burned at the stake for me because it's the right thing to do. And I praise God for them. Listen, I'm, I'm thinking of some of those very people that I just named who are willing to be, uh, willing to be uh, man, really, really willing to be hammered and, 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 and really, uh, man, they, they, have, they have gone through some stuff to stand up for me. Man, I praise God for them. Because why? Because that's the kind of friend Jesus said we're supposed to be. Not fair weather friends, all weather friends. Can I just challenge you to be that kind of friend? Be the kind of friend that doesn't just hang around when it's easy. Be the kind of friend that's willing to go to bat for those you call friends. You see, I'm here in front of Hattieville because I got a friend that pastors this church. I could have filmed in front of several other places too. I'm thankful. I'm thankful today that God has been good to give me some all-weather friends. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to save you a seat right here on the tailgate, and uh, I hope you'll join me next time. Do me a favor, click that share button right below this video uh, to help us get the word out about tailgate talks, but more importantly, to get the word out about LifeWord. LifeWord is sharing the gospel of Jesus all around the world and making his name famous in places where he's not known about very much yet. And so help us get the word out about LifeWord. Listen, I love you. 
and I thank you so much for joining me today. Join us next time, and you never know where this tailgate will be dropped and where we'll pull up to have a chat. I love you, and I'll see you next time on a tailgate talk. Yeah.